What is up everyone and welcome back to another video. This video is going to be a little different than my usual videos. Today I'm going to be explaining the new Base Building Plus 2.0 mod. Base Building Plus has upgraded their mod and has gone to a 2.0 version. This video was actually made after the update, so that means they also made another update after the official release of the 2.0 and I'm going to be covering also what changed inside this update. So make sure to watch this whole video if you want to learn everything about Base Building Plus number 2 and I'm going to be making sure that everything is timestamped in this video. That means you can choose if you want to see the roof kits, the wall kits, you know, you name it. You can see everything that's inside the Base Building Plus update. I'm going to cover everything that's inside and and I hope you enjoy this video. Now, before the video starts, I would like to mention they have a Discord. And if you want to know any additional information or any information on the updates or anything like that, or you want to talk to the creators of the mod, you can do that right there. The link is in the description. First of all, you want to get your hands on a flagpole kit. You can place this down and eventually you'll have a territory set up. In this territory, you then have to claim the flagpole. So you have to walk up to it and press claim like I did right here. And you can also reset the owner here and stuff like that. After this, you can build in the territory. So that means you can put your kids down, make your house, do whatever, build a base, have some fun. And a bunch of stuff is in your territory. So first of all, you have nothing and you're going to start off. Now, a lot of you are going to be already knowing this, but I'm still going to tell you it. This is how to make logs and planks. To get logs, you need to chop down a tree. You can do this by using a hatchet. Keep in mind that some of the smaller trees don't give a look, so you have to chop down a big tree. After doing so, you're gonna have to cut it up into planks. You can do that by using this handsaw right here. Uh, you can either look at it like this and you can make the plank, or you can combine them like this, and eventually you can also make the planks like this. It's gonna give you this animation and you're just gonna have to hold left click through the animation and eventually you're gonna be getting there. Keep in mind that every single look you're gonna cut up is gonna give you four planks. Now to start building you're gonna need a workbench and to build this workbench you're gonna need a crafting book. Now the crafting book is basically the replacement of the old crafting blueprint. However, it still works a little bit different. You now start off with the crafting book and you combine it with six planks to make a workbench. You can do that like this, you can combine it with the book in your inventory, but you can also look at the ground and combine it like this, as you can see right here. Once you start doing this, it's going to give you this animation again, and it will eventually give you a workbench kit. This is none other than just a normal building kit that you're going to be able to hold in your hands and place down. So it's going to let me to do that. Perfect. Okay, so we have the, the kit here. You can now place this down. It'll work like just like normal building walls before the update and you can place it down however you would like now after doing this you got to keep in mind that there needs to be a bunch of materials on the workbench for it actually to function well um, you're gonna need these planks and looks like I showed you you're also gonna need this new base building plus tape measure uh, this is a new item and you're gonna have this to attach this to the workbench for it to function and this is required to build any kits you also need a hand saw and the looks planks and the nails required for the build so there you go I just put the nails in here and now we have the whole thing now you need these nails for it to function otherwise you're not going to be able to craft any kits and um, here you can read it's F instead of K before the update used to be K now it's F um, as a standard bind and here you have the all of the kits that you can place you can see if I click on all of these you're gonna be seeing the materials on the right it's gonna say required items um, and it can also say required tools in case you need something extra to build the uh, the kit and you can select anything you want so you just select it on the left um, like this and then you're gonna be able to craft the kit on the bottom right now there are a lot of things you can build in this mod. You can build a bunch of different cool houses, cool stuff, walls, windows, you name it, you can build it. And I'm going to be showing you all the required materials first. Uh, there will also be a link in the description to one of the pages where there will be all the information for how much it costs per kit. Um, it will also give you the information of how to build some extra stuff if I forgot something and it will be perfect for you. Now, if you wish to take a look at this for a little bit longer, make sure to pause the video because I'm going to be telling you about how to use the walls, doors and all the other kits possible in the Base Building Plus mod. Now, first of all, you want to make sure you know this. There is a UI in the top right, which is going to tell you exactly what arrows and what keys you need to use on your keyboard to do certain stuff. 
for the most part, most of the keys are not going to be interesting enough to use. However, you need to pay attention to the snapping, because this is going to be an important one. Now once you're going to start building, there's a few things. If you have to make sure you look at this large floor kit, and then it's going to snap onto the kit. Now, please note that on the top right of my screen it says enabled, where it says snapping. So that means that my snapping is on. If I press the down arrow on my keyboard, it's going to be doing this. Now it's unsnapped, so that means I can look wherever and it's going to snap where I want. If I look at this, it's not going to snap on the build, it's going to snap wherever I'm looking. I can place it up in the sky, up on the floor, wherever I would like it to be. And notice if I press um, the down arrow on my keyboard, it's going to do this. And I did it wrong. Snapping enabled. So now look, when I look at this building piece, it's going to say large floor. Now right here, if I look at the floor, it's going to snap onto it. If I don't look at the floor, it's going to mess up sometimes. So if I'm not looking at the floor, it's not there. Like, where is it? And then if you want to adjust it, you can use the scroll wheel and you can snap onto the floor. Now, notice how I'm looking at this floor. So I'm snapping on this floor and it has four sides. So now I'm switching between those sides. Now, if I wish to switch to this one. Then look how, notice how it's going to switch to that side and I can snap onto this one. So it really just depends which kit you are looking at and how that works. So for now I'm going to build myself a little platform here to build my thing on. I'm going to look at this kit and then I'm going to snap it onto here. The same thing goes for wall snapping. I see these four floors here. I just built them up completely so now we have our large floors. If I wish to have snapping off, it's now enabled. If I wish to have it off, I'm going to press the down arrow. I'm going to be looking. Now I can place the wall wherever I would like, but it's not going to be snapped, so it's freely placed. If I'm looking at my floors here, it's not going to snap onto them. However, if I press the down key arrow, it's going to snap onto them like this, and you can scroll wheel. Now I'm looking at this floor, so it's going to give me the four options on this floor on how to place it. If I was looking at this floor right here, you can already see, it's going to switch between the floor and it will be different. Now if I look at this floor, you can see it works like that. If I wish to place a wall on this, I can still do it. I just have to make sure I am aimed. I can even aim at this and then it's going to prompt to build on this wall. It's going to snap on there. And it's going to give me all of the eight possibilities this wall has or even ten maybe. Um, and yeah, it will give me different choices. Now here you can see it snaps on this. You should be getting the idea by now. Now along with snapping, you're also going to have different issues. Let's say I want to build a free wall here, then it's going to be inside this floor. I don't actually want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold the wall and I'm going to do it something different. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the wall and I'm going to this time I'm going to look. And as you can see on the right of my screen, open rotation UI up arrow. Now this means that if I open, if I click the arrow going up, then I'm going to open the UI. Now this UI is going to give me the roll rotation, the pitch rotation, the yaw rotation, and the reset hologram, and the enable advanced rotation. And I'm just going to disable that for now because it's going to just get you into more confusion. First of all, we have the roll, which is non nothing more than just rolling it around like this. This means just the horizontal switch. If you press it on pitch, it's going to be doing this. That means you can flip it vertical, but at the same time, it's going to be front and back. Um, and then you also have the last one, and that is yaw. And yaw basically makes it go like this i don't know how to explain it it will be probably diagonal in a way um although it's probably all diagonal and then you can just go around like this and you can do it something like this so let's say i want to have a wall like this just so i can cover a window or something then i can do that and i can even turn it around like this and build it uh, like this and i can build some sort of ramp Although we have other ramps in this game and we also have the roof slopes right now, this won't be of too much use, but maybe if you're covering a window, this could be very useful. Now before I'm going to be telling you about all of the wall kits, the floor kits, the roof kits, all of those different kits, I'm going to be telling you about how to build tier 2 slash tier 3. On this version you don't have to actually craft those kits anymore and build them separately, this time you have to upgrade them. So if you're looking on a wall. To upgrade to tier 2, you're going to add an extra layer on the front. Um, this layer is going to be for the extra protection. You'd normally do this on doors if you're using, if you're playing on a server with only door rating. Um, but some servers with wall rating also have that on. Now keep in mind that if you want to build a tier 3 door, then it's a little bit different. If you want to build a tier 3 door, you're going to have to dismantle everything. And you're going to leave the frame. So you're going to have to 
and dismantle until the frame and you're gonna have to get a shovel like with tier 3 you're building with a shovel uh, so you're gonna make sure that there's mortar mix inside of the wall and also the door it would be for the gate as well all of that stuff you'd have uh, mortar mix and cement mix in there um, and you'd need to get them cemented at a mixer and then you can build them up with a shovel now to know if you have the right materials you can click on the link in the description of my video and you'll be able to find all of the stuff there and all of the materials required for them however here is what it looks like and the texture has actually just been updated in a new version after the 2.0 release so hopefully you guys like it now i'm assuming you guys have got your kits ready and you're trying to actually start building right now first of all i'm gonna start explaining how to use a wall a wall is very simple First of all we have the walls, now clearly you can see there's an inside place, this is the inside of the wall, um, you can use this as a reference because the inside is always going to be green and it's always going to be saying inside, so this should be clear for now. So right here you have this wall and it actually takes 10 planks like I said in the beginning of the video and like the link in the description will confirm for you. As far as walls go, it's also very useful to snap them in the right position to make sure they align with what you want to have so there's no gaps in your base or there's no issues. Keep in mind that if you access it from certain sides, you're not going to be able to access the UI and also dismantle it. So make sure to access it from the right side, which is going to be the inside looking from the wall snapping. So you're going to see the inside like it's green and then once you've built it, you're going to need to put the planks in. Now after that you're going to need to use the locks to finish up the whole wall kit. Um, it's going to take you 4 locks if you want to build the full wall. Um, and this can vary between the different building pieces. Now like I said this link for all the materials required for every single one is in the description. And it's also mentioned in the beginning of the video. And it can be very useful to use that while building. Now when placing down wall kits you can snap them just like I mentioned before it works like this you can snap them with your scroll wheel and it will look like this and you're gonna be able to snap walls on top of each other where's my other oh here are my wall kits um, you can snap wherever you would like uh, you can even snap on top of each other like this but when you're doing that you just gotta be keeping in mind that eventually you're not gonna be able to access it and you're not gonna be able to go higher up um, so when you build a wall you want to be able to access the UI this means that you're gonna have to be on the same level and so you're gonna have to be needing to build a floor or you're gonna have to get a step ladder here we have the half walls you can also snap them and rotate them like I showed you in the beginning of the video uh, you can place them however you would like I'm just gonna place one uh, somewhere like this um, and you can see the green side is the inside I'm just gonna rotate it that's the wrong one the yaw rotation look and I'm gonna perfectly snapping it on the hill or not perfect but manually perfect if you know what I'm trying to say then I'm gonna build this and this is with an admin hatchet of course like the other things so this is gonna be quick you're of course gonna have to use a hatchet and use all the materials I'm also gonna build a tier 2 for you to show you how it looks um, this is usually not needed on most servers because you can't trade through walls but some servers might have that enabled so just keep in mind that with these walls you can have extra protection as well and here we have some doors so uh, doors actually are a little bit different they're gonna cost a little bit more materials it's gonna be uh, a little bit different to the other materials the frame that I actually built is gonna be 16 nails and 10 planks so you should be able to build that if you haven't done that yet then you have the locks so to finish the walls and the doors you're gonna have to use the locks for the um, outside so it will be the frames of the thing is going to be built of planks and then the fill is going to be built with locks and it's going to look something like this you can see clearly the outside and the inside the outside is the locks itself the inside you can see how they are placed um, then you can build the door you don't do that with locks like right here you have to make sure you're using planks for that and then you can see right here you are building the door already and this is going to cost you 10 planks as well um, but it's going to give you a very cool looking door Balls. these are also able to be put around so you have a double version you have a left side and a right side so you can make sure to snap the right side on the inside again and uh, let me just build that for you 
it's gonna have a frame as well and when it's finished it's gonna look something like this now keep in mind you can use this for uh, houses you can make a really cool looking house you could put it for example if i walk over here you could put it just like right here just on the uh, outside of the roof just to make it look cool and once you have that done you are going to have something that looks like a proper house and you can build a cool looking base like that outside of those changes you also have those floors and roofs that you can build now they cost up to 10 planks per floor and roof so you have to build the um, the frame first so you're going to be using 10 planks to build the frame and also 10 nails the same goes for the roofs you have to build them the same way the only thing is you build them from the bottom and, and not from the top so here i'm standing on top of it to build it and it costs two times 10 planks for the frame or one time 10 planks for the frame and then another 10 planks to build the actual floor and then here we have those hanger roofs these hanger roofs are basically uh, gates you can put on the roof so instead of having to build a weird ass gate on the top you can have it like this and what you basically have to do is you can place it down you have to make sure you get the snapping right on this one because if you snap into the wrong thing stuff like this uh, is gonna happen and you're gonna have it open the wrong way like this and you don't want that so just make sure you're you're looking the right direction with the red line that's gonna be on the blueprints and when it's placed it's gonna be a blue line and if you get that to work um, then you should be able to get your gates in the right uh, direction but for now look this is gonna happen I'm gonna have two gates and I would wish them to be on these walls for example and they're not so you can change that by snapping in the right way but this is just the example so you know you don't do it wrong here it is as well you just built this roof and it's gonna go in a different way as I tried but then the other side is wrong so you're just gonna have to pay attention to it and now the same thing applies for all the things but I'm just gonna say it again all the materials and the required stuff is going to be in the link in the description for every single building piece. And here we have it. We have a wall here and with this wall if you full build it you're going to be able to easily snap a slope roof kit. This is going to be the slope roof. The slope roof looks like this. It's basically just the actual roof of a normal house. Um, it's basically just a vertical roof that snaps on any wall. Um, you can build a cool staircase with it if you like to or uh, you can also build a proper roof like I am doing right now. It's gonna look something like this. You can combine it with the slope wall, which is gonna be just a cornered wall you can put on the sides. Like I mentioned before in the video, if you missed it, you know it now. And alongside with those other building pieces, we have the triangle roof triangle floor. It looks like this. Uh, I'm gonna grab my admin hatchet real quick. I'm gonna build it up for you guys real quick so you can see what it looks like. It's basically just a floor, but it's a half floor or whatever you want to call it and it looks like this you can put walls on the sides like this um, so you could build a cool airlock triangle thing if you would like and um, you can also upgrade it to tier 2 and that looks like this this is a floor hatch kit this is basically the same as before the previous base building plus mod um, it looks a little bit different because now you have to build the frame and the door or the hatch looks a little bit different but basically it's the same now for now it's just leading into the floor here so i don't have anything here but you guys will probably build cool bases having this inside the base with a staircase going up or something here we have a foundation kit the foundation kit is basically the same as in the previous uh, base building plus update it takes almost the same materials as i said before these materials and the amount you need are going to be in the description so make sure to check those out for exact details you can place this down into the ground probably on mountains you're going to be using this a lot uh, it will function as an actual floor you're going to be building it like this it's going to look something like this um, and then you can look and build it again then you have the actual foundation now keep in mind that you can dismantle this from the top so if people are trying to dismantle it they'll dismantle it from the top and they will not be able to dismantle it from underneath now a quick difference with the gates uh, you have now instead of having a single gate you're gonna have a left and right gate these left and right gates are gonna have to be snapped in uh, the right way for them to function the right way as well uh, you gotta make sure the red side like this is gonna be on the side you want to have the gate go around so if the gate is going to be opened around the left side you want to make sure the red this side is on the left side as well so it actually opens up like that you also want to make sure that the inside is still on the inside of your base because otherwise people can just soft side your gates 
Now it is worth mentioning that these gates can also be opened on their own. So that means if you only want to build a left gate or only want to build a right gate or just an airlock that has a gate, you can still do that but the gate will open on the left side or the right side and it doesn't have to be two gates at the same time. You have to keep in mind that there's also a single gate. Uh, this looks a little bit different. This means you still have to build it like this. It still functions like it used to before the Base Building Plus update, just with a different texture. This is also still possible, but you can also use the left and right gate on their own in a 1x1. One one. Now these windows and stuff work on the same snapping and look like this. They have a little small window in the middle. The owners of Base Building Plus Mont actually decided to make this window a little bit smaller. Don't know exactly why, but it looks pretty cool. There's also these pillars. These pillars are like they used to be, just with different textures. You can still place them down, you can still build them up. You can still snap them, you can build a bunch of cool stuff with them. You can make them wooden, you can make them concrete. Do with it what you'd like. A link to this is still in the description. We're gonna move on to the stairs. Unfortunately, at the moment, you can only use stairs for snapping. This means you have to have snapping enabled for them to properly function if you want to actually properly build them. They will look like this as a blueprint uh, instead of having them as a straight line in the previously in the previous base building plus update. You now have them as a uh, well, as a corner piece, I guess. Uh, you can snap them onto a bunch of things. You can snap them onto these things, although they don't look very perfect on these. Maybe on this side it looks better. You can snap them onto walls like this, and you can also put them on floors. Put them onto floors put them on wherever you would like if it fits in your house if it adds onto your your build you can put it like this although it doesn't look very great you can even build a staircase onto your roof if you would like now along with these roofs we also have big ramps that you can use for cars or you can use to transport vehicles upwards maybe have a quick entrance to your base i'm quickly gonna build that up with the admin hatchet if it lets me build the actual ramp Better than the wall. Um, they have fixed a bunch of things, so you now, you know, like stand on top of the build if you uh, are standing inside of it while you're building. They have fixed a bunch of stuff. It's looking very great on the update, and the large ramp actually fits very well. It's uh, red for some reason, which looks interesting in my opinion, but they can be very useful for sure. Now, as of the moment of recording this video, um, on the workbench you don't actually have small pieces available. As you can see, you have single gate available, you have other stuff available, but for some stuff like windows, walls, floors, roofs, there's also small versions. These are currently not in the, um, in the menu and in the workbench, so you're not able to use them. Maybe in the future they're going to come out, I don't know when they will or if they will. You can currently only get them with admin tools, um, but if those come out, you can still use the link in the description because it still has the updated versions, even with those small kits, if they do happen to come out. Now along with this base building stuff, there's also a step ladder. I've mentioned this in the beginning of the video for a little bit, but you can craft it like this. You select it, it costs you 15 nails and 10 planks. You can click on it, you can craft it, and once you've done that, it will appear on the floor. Now, this is the folded version, that means you still have to place it. You can place this however you would like, you can put it on the floor, it'll eventually uh, put itself on the floor if you're aiming at it. You can also put this higher up in the air if you would like. Just keep in mind that if you cannot walk on it, then it's also not going to be uh, useful. Um, this step ladder is going to be very, very useful if you would like to build it next to a wall. Uh, let's say right here, I'm going to uh, rotate it around real quick. I'm going to put it like this. I'm trying to build this and I would like to build this wall. I cannot access it, but now I can. Now I can see here's a large wall, here's a large wall, here's a large floor. Now I can access this floor right here below me. I can access this wall right in front of me. And I can access also the wall above it. This means I can easily build it if I aim at the spot down here. That means I can build it like this. It looks very cool, could be very useful. Just keep that in mind, could be a good feature. Keep in mind that the 2.0 version of this mod has still recently been released. That means that there's still some bugs that they cannot fix or they will not be able to fix in a little bit and they might fix later. Just keep that in mind if you're a server owner or if you're trying to set your server up that it might have some additional bugs. The old mod of Base Building Plus is still available under the name Base Building Plus Legacy. With this mod you will still have all of the old base building if you prefer it that way or if a server wants to have it on their server. If you would like to see in detail what they've changed in the last two updates on the 20th of April and the 21st of April, you can look on the screen now, you can pause the video and you can take a look. Otherwise the other information will still be in their Discord so you can take a look at that too. 
Now, I want to thank you all for watching this video. I hope this this tutorial helped you out any further with base building. If you still have any questions or if you want to show me your base, you can always hit me up on uh, Discord or you can say in the comments and uh, let me know your base and all your cool ideas you guys have made. I'm still going to be making content, so if you would like to see that, make sure to hit the subscribe button. I hope this has helped you any further and I will see you in the next one.